Hi and welcome back to the second part of the last chapter, chapter 8 and we're talking about embedding videos. Now I want to teach you, in this part I want to teach you how to embed your favorite YouTube video, okay? And in order to do that, let's take a look, okay? And before I do that, I also want to share with you the different kinds of video attributes av available at your disposal uh, using the HTML5 language. Okay, here is a resource that I have and uh, the video tag can be used as with the source, with cross origin, with poster, preload, autoplay, media group, loop. We use that a lot, right? Loop it or, you know, don't loop it. Muted, loop is equal to yes or no. Muted, controls, we just use that width, height, access key, class and just take a look at this how many attributes there are available and you would just need to use a couple of them not more but what i'm trying to say is if you want to use all of these or any one or two of these you can easily easily use them in your video code right here just make sure that the attribute are within the open video tag okay the source and the width and the height and uh, you know on submit or installed and uh, on progress on playing all of these you can play with them and see what happens and each of them has a value and uh, value could be you know it's either a boolean value yes or no or it could be a numerical value depending on what attribute you're using okay so these are the attributes available for you to embed within your video and have more control over how the multimedia video is displayed okay this guy here let me move this here all right so let's go back to the code and uh, let's try to look at the what do we call html uh, iframe tag okay iframe tag defines the frame that you want to create here okay how big the frame should be the dimensions of the frame and it also has a source attribute it has a width height and a source attribute it has a frame border and allow full screen okay so it's slightly different from what you've done here with the video tag but similar okay not very hard to follow width is equal to for example let's write 560 Okay, I'm just writing down the code and I still don't have the link to the video. I will get it with you. Don't worry, okay? We're going to do it together. Okay, and uh, I want to write the height is equal to, which is 315. Just make sure that you're using the right syntax. I'm checking at the same time. 315 and src source is equal to i like to add space so that I, it's just easier for me to explain what i'm writing easier for you to follow at the same time okay i have uh, this link here but what i would do is i would really like to go to youtube right now and uh, get a video on cup stacker okay get a video on cup stacker all right and uh, I found this video here. Introducing the most innovative vehicle in its class. Okay, let me just pause this door, guy here. Stronger, Skip and more Okay, I'm showing this to you so that you understand how we can get a video step by step. It's not a big deal at all. Okay, let me move this around so that you can see this more closely. And what I'm going to do is, if you go right here, you can say share, okay, and it will allow you, if you go down, if you hit share, it will allow you to embed or email, and I'm just going to use the embed code here. Okay, notice that you should be using this address and not the one here. This guy is different, okay? And slightly different, not very different because there is a V is equals to here and uh, watch, okay? 
all of this is omitted in this code here there's a difference always remember that there's a difference so you just want to get this one by hitting the share button here under the video and you use embed so in my website i want to show how the professionals do it or how the games are you know really happening and how we can do it ourselves so i'm just going to highlight and do control c go back to my code here okay let me open up this page go back to my code here and i am going to just give me okay and i am going to control v okay this is the address of my youtube video and i'm going to close the source tag a uh, source attribute here and i'm going to say frame border let's see if it works or not if it doesn't work i'm going to fix the error with you because this is how you will you know not get discouraged while you make your own errors allow full screen okay and close the iframe tag we just close the iframe tag we also okay add another tag iframe close iframe tag right beneath it okay so we have an iframe width is equal to 560 and height is equal to 315 source is equal to https youtube this looks kind of funny right there's a dot between two let's see if it works uh, let me check here yes there is a dot here okay let's see let's see okay and frame border is equal to zero and allow full screen iframe okay let me save this okay there is a mistake i detected okay instead of writing the entire code from scratch i was supposed to get this this link the one which says embedded okay that's how youtube behaves youtube links behave you don't take the link from up here you don't take this link here we don't take the share link i was working on the share link which is wrong okay it didn't work i tried to refresh the site it wasn't working so this is what you need and the best thing is you just need to control c the entire code you need to control c and I am just going to go ahead and delete the previous video as well and control V. Okay, just do that. And file save as, save and let me try to run this file. There you go. Okay, and uh, the interesting thing about this video is that it wouldn't start. A lot full screen, frame border is there. What other elements you can add what other attributes you can add here okay for example if i look at embedded and uh, show more okay it's a preview and uh, over here you can actually change the dimensions it's instead of 560 to 315 i can change it right here the code will also change uh, let's play around with other attributes show suggested videos when the video finishes i hate that i don't like it at all i'm sorry show player controls yes please show player controls and uh, okay i'll just see player control here yeah this is my player control okay and uh, okay this video won't play because of the restrictions on it which is fine but it was successfully embedded we can use other examples no worries but the code was working perfectly if you just get it from here embedded okay just get it from here control c and control v and that's it's very simple that's how you embed videos that's how you embed vimeos and any kind of video that is available on the internet just get the iframe code available with the video most of the video you know video display websites they provide embedding code for html and just get your code from there and uh, the best thing about this is that you can change these enable privacy enhanced mode what is this okay we can find this out and uh, here is a help line available for embed videos and playlists okay and uh, this is the entire step-by-step -step breakdown of what we just did okay and start an embedded video at a certain time you can control that add captions to an embedded video 
turn off embedding for your videos for example you know this video was embedding was turned off okay which means if anybody tries to embed it in their video in the website they won't be able to do it okay and make an embedded video play automatically and turn on privacy enhanced mode so what I was trying to explain here was the tags available here these tags available on play all of these can be added to your code very easily and you can easily change how your video behaves the iframe tag can also work with all of these you can try them out uh, some of them work some of them don't work with my experience according to my experience i have tried on you know on playing and on play you know when you say on play then display something it's possible all right but right now we're just concerned with the fact that the video is embedded successfully and not just embed it successfully it should be able to give you the controls and whatever attributes you have defined for the video they show up correctly okay so with this uh, my students i conclude the video embedding part of chapter 8 multimedia and in this chapter you studied two ways of embedding videos one was you know embedding a video from your file that's available to you okay sample video sample.mp4 and the other example was embedding video directly from the internet okay and you can control the way the video is displayed the dimensions available to you as well as how it behaves the behavior of the video on your website okay so let's move on to the next part of the chapter which is embedding audio Okay, and it's going to be very interesting. Let's look at it.